If you are raising funds for the creation of a community of love, you are building the kingdom. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do as Christians. The Catholic Charities Appeal. Whatever you can for those who cannot. When I was growing up, when I was a child, I wanted to be a veterinarian more than anything. Never in my life did I imagine that I would do some of the things that I did to wind me up in prison. And when I got to prison, I didn't have any hope for anything. And when I got the interview to come to St. Clair's, it was so uplifting to me. And it just brought a new sense of hope to me. And then when I walked in the doors of this place, I really felt home. It's important for St. Clair's to be here for women that are coming out from jail because it, it gives us structure and it helps us to find a better way of life. It's important for people to continue to donate to Catholic Charities because St. Clair's has given me a foundation. It's given me hope to be able to build and become healthy again. The communities of faith that make up the Diocese of Fall River are unique and diverse. In each community, however, there is a thread that binds us as one. That thread is our love of God and our care for one another. Throughout the diocese, our women and men, sons and daughters, clergy and laity, help to define the meaning of church by their actions on behalf of the neighbor who needs help. The Samaritan House is a charity-based shelter I came here to get out of a domestic violence relationship over five years. I had finally had enough and I went to Catholic Social Services. They told me I didn't have to take it anymore. I could have a safe place to go and I didn't have to worry about anything, just to get my stuff and to come to the Samaritan house. So that's what I did. If there was an abundance of funds in, there would be more places that they could feel safe and bring their children and not have to worry about it instead of sleeping in a car under a bridge, so there'd be less homeless families on the street. Donovan House, and it's like a great place. The rent you pay is like 30% of your income, so that means that everybody can afford it. And you have like a room for you and your kid. When we first came here, he was like uh, six months. And if you need anything, we always have like a staff at Donovan House that will be downstairs to help you and provide you anything they can. I really like it because I feel like I was home. People should continue to donate to Catholic charities because people in here, they really need it. Amanda and Denisha are just two of the more than 400 people who are provided some form of housing on any given night through various Catholic social services programs. CSS provides a continuum of care for families and individuals who are homeless that ranges from emergency shelter, transitional, and permanent supportive housing. This system allows a positive progression for individuals and families that builds on their progress in a system that knows their strengths and weaknesses. CSS is the only agency in southeastern Massachusetts that has this spectrum of care. Housing and housing retention programs are also available for homeowners, providing housing, credit, and budget counseling. Last year, 94 cents of every dollar donated went directly to help our less fortunate neighbors and friends through a wide variety of services and programs. Because of your support, there is 24-hour chaplaincy in hospitals across the diocese. At Cape Cod Hospital and Falmouth Hospital alone, there were more than 14,000 chaplain visits, over 16,000 communions distributed, and over 2,300 sacraments of the sick administered. The hospital ministry is very engaging. We have people receiving communion, patients who may need counseling, patients who also are dealing with life and death issues, and we help to provide the comfort and the understanding that comes with that spiritual dimension. There are certain times that people need certain people, and when they get the chaplain come around talking to them, they feel good. Yeah, I'm sure everybody that goes in the hospitals, whether they get the faith or not, depending on how sick they are, they're going to call on God. If they don't, they should. And that's why the chaplain comes in 
offers you what the church is offering and giving you a spiritual lift because we're all on a spiritual journey. The dollars you give and pledge now reach people throughout the entire year, and not just Catholics, but anyone who needs the services and programs it enables. The Parish Christmas Gift Program distributed nearly 7,500 gifts to over 2,600 children. Complete outfits of clothing were given to each family as well as food and food vouchers. Campus ministry provided a place for college students to gather and experience their faith. Because of your donation, the Television Mass, which is estimated to be seen on a regular weekly basis by at least 15,000 people in approximately 6,000 homes, provides spiritual comfort for the sick and homebound in our diocese. Adoption by Choice provides domestic and international adoptions, supportive services, counseling, ongoing interventions, and pregnancy counseling. The Permanent Diaconate presently has 57 deacons in active ministry serving 57 different parishes, with an additional 16 men enrolled in the formation program. Your donations help fund the Hispanic Apostolate, offering pastoral ministry in Spanish to immigrants from many different countries and Puerto Rico. The area's other immigrant population is also served through ESL and GED programs, legal assistance, counseling and citizenship preparation classes. An integral part of parish life is faith formation, whose programs reach countless people throughout the diocese. It helps to deepen our faith individually and as a couple. Um, it is a form of renewal. It's just an excellent experience. We try every day of our lives, not only to give this example to our, our family, to our children, but also people around us, and um, we try to preach with actions. The Marriage Prep Program is for the engaged couples of the diocese. We bring them together with these host couples. We talk about a lot of different topics. Communications is probably one of the main themes. We talk about home finances, raising children, intimacy, God in marriage. So it's really a time for them to focus on each other. Faith formation improves the life of the parish by getting the children engaged and hopefully by getting the children engaged, we get their parents engaged also. I think it's important for people to donate to Catholic Charities because every generation needs a strong foundation for faith. And the way that we can improve our faith formation programs in our parishes is by having a strong office of faith formation. I think it's just a wonderful thing, it really is. It's just planting those seeds and seeing those seeds grow in the little ones, you know, seeing them in first grade and then just, you know, going off into high school and then those students returning back to help you. I think that's what it's all about, coming back to the community and feeling God. The high school youth convention is where all these high school students come to meet and they come to be closer to understanding their faith a little better, they can realize how much of an impact the faith can really have on them. We have a song called Go Make a Difference and, um, and that's what the youth are called to do. They're called to go be leaders and make a difference in the world. Well the youth is the future of the church so if we can get to the youth and really inspire them and get them to be passionate about their faith then it will pave the way for a stronger more healthy church in the future. It's good for people to contribute to Catholic Charities because a lot of families and parishes can't afford for their children to come to these events. And this year we have a really small group. If there was abundance of donations, the kids and teens would be able to come to these events and learn more about their faith, which will help them out in school, activities, and everyday life. It just brought back so much pain. The great support group are people who get together to talk about someone that has died and to learn to try to accept their death and support one another in, um, in a time of almost desperation about the mystery of death. I lost my daughter in a tragic car accident. It just happens in a split second. Of course, you don't think it's gonna to happen to you. My daughter was 22. She was my only child. She still lived at home. My hopes and dreams when she died, I feel like 99.9% of myself died. I'll never be a grandmother. I'll never have, you know, watch her walk down the aisle. 
I think it's very important that the diocese offers this because I searched and searched looking for help and quite honestly there was nothing, nothing. And when I found the bereavement group, I felt like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders and it's kind of been, you know, almost like a saving grace, a safe haven where you can come to and, and the community needs this. Your donations to the Catholic Charities Appeal have changed the lives of tens of thousands of people stretching from Mansfield, Easton, and the Attleboros, through the Taunton, Fall River, and New Bedford areas, and extending all the way to Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. It is due to the generosity of people like you and the more than 31,000 parishioners and supporters of last year's appeal that we were able to help local people in need. My wife and I are so pleased that we're able to give back to the community that has served us so well, and we're, we're glad to be able to do this. It gives us tremendous satisfaction. Your overhead is very low, and they do wonderful work with the money that you give. So every dollar you give really helps folks. So it's a good place to make your donations. Doing things for other people always brings you joy. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, it's why volunteerism is generally a gift that you're supposed to give to other people, but it ends up being more a gift for yourself because you feel so good about doing things for other people. Before you get the joy of giving, I think we're skipping here, you got to have a reason to give. you got to have uh, something that turns you on and makes you realize how important the needs are. Catholic Social Services amazes me because they do the work of Christ, especially when, it, when Christ spoke of reaching out to the most lowly. I feel so blessed um, with everything that I have to be able to give something to my neighbor um, in the Diocese of Fall River and I like to see the results and I know giving to the, cha to the Catholic Charities Appeal that since it will help my neighbor, I can see those who are being helped. You don't go to church for the priest on the altar. That's not the church. The church is the community. It's the people that, that sit around you and you, you live next. And, and you practice your faith and you evangelize and you evangelize in many, many different ways. Everybody brings something to the table as long as you're doing Christ's work. The people you have just heard from, those who give so generously of themselves, and those in need, help to define what being church means. In this, our 72nd year of the Catholic Charities Appeal, I ask that you consider the word of St. Paul in his second letter to the Corinthians. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or into compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. I ask for your continued support of our appeal and ask you to prayerfully consider how you can help your neighbors who need you. A cheerful giver is a person who gives themselves to the Lord and to his people. We should not give only money. We should give our time, we should give our prayers, and we should give our talents. We should share that with people. When we do that for the Lord Jesus Christ, when we do that with love, we do that with joy. I want to say thank you to everybody who's donated to Catholic Charities because for me it's given me a brand new way of life, a brand new start of life, and I have an unconditional gratitude for them. I just want to say thank you that it's places like this and, and people who have the love and, and compassion in their heart that gives me hope and that's what I was missing in my life is hope. Like I felt alone, you know, like no one cared and because of St. Clair's and the people who are donating this, St. Clair's it's given me a lot of hope. I just want to say thank you and how blessed and thankful that I am that I was able to come across this opportunity to get to know the people here at the Samaritan House and through Catholic Social because without them, I don't know where I would be, honestly. Thank you all, thank you. 
I want to thank everybody um, and I hope this video helps everybody understand a little piece of you know what we are going through through the bereavement support group and how much it has helped us and again I hope people do continue to um, reach out and show their generosity because it definitely um, is needed and um, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping our children and helping families in our diocese. I would like to thank people that have donated to Catholic Charities. It's very important that we support our diocese in all its endeavors and I think it's also a way for people to show their appreciation for the things that are done. Thank you to those that have helped in the previous years and I say continue on what you're doing and every little bit helps. Thank you. I would like to thank all donors very sincerely for everything that they've given because uh, it, it has given us as youth a lot of opportunity to come together and to be united in Christ and to really learn about our faith and be, become passionate about it. So thank you very much. Thank you. I would like to tell you to join in one voice in prayer. And he calls on us to open our hearts to stretch our hands out and help wherever we can. The Catholic Charities Appeal, whatever you can for those who cannot.